In this video, I want to go over how to create your checklists. So to begin, you're going to navigate into the list section and then edit lists. From here, you're going to select the plus button to create a new list. We're going to go ahead and enter in the name. I'm just going to start with something simple like an opening checklist. From here, when you're adding in your items, you can either add in an item one at a time by selecting add item and then you select which item it is that you want to begin with. So we can start with just a simple check mark. And then in the prompt text here is where you're going to enter in the action or the instruction for the employee. So the first thing we could enter in if we're doing an opening checklist is turn on all the equipment. And if you wanted to, you could get specific here and enter in each of the pieces of equipment, or if you want to enter in, you know, turn the oven to 350 degrees, whatever instruction you may need to add in here for the employees. Now we can keep adding in items individually, or another option to save you some time, especially if you have this list created somewhere else already, is you can come to the plus button where you can add in a new item, but there's also a bulk import option. And from here, it's going to open up into a spreadsheet view. Now with the spreadsheet view, you can either copy and paste a checklist that you maybe already have, um, or you can just enter in the list from memory, whatever you have available or that works for you. I'm going to show you how to do both. So here, once we've turned on all the equipment, let's get some sanitizer buckets. Maybe we want them to actually check that sanitizers at the right calibration. So if we do that, we could have a measurement item. So we just go to the drop down here, come to the measurement item and they can enter in the value of the PPM. Or we can even come down and have them take a picture. So if you want them to take a picture, if you'd like to. So all the items are available here where they could select where you want to have them answer a checkbox or answer yes or no, whatever the, the action may be. If you're copying and pasting from an existing sheet, so for example, let me pull over this one here, you can copy and paste. So we'll just come here to this first section. I'm going to copy with my keyboard shortcuts. Then I'm going to come back into my list here and then I'm going to paste with my keyboard shortcuts. So Command C or Control C as in copy to copy and then V as in Victor is your paste. So Command or Control V and it'll paste in those that, that information I've just copied over. Now we've got a couple extra rows here so I can actually right click and I can remove a row or I can add in a row. So if there's something that was missed on that original copy I can actually quickly add in a couple of rows. From here all I would need to do is verify that I have the information accurately and then I would just select which response I want from them. Do I want them to sign off with their signature? Do I want them to take a photo? Do I want them just to check off the item with a check mark? You can copy and paste from here or if you click on the box a second time, you'll see this little box has popped up here in the corner. When I put my mouse over it, it changes and I can actually click and drag and it will copy that same text all the way down. So it saves me quite a bit of time. Now points, as the employees are completing each task, they can earn points. And those points can be used as a reward system to promote the team getting engaged with the system for completing those tasks. Um, and it's part of our gamification aspect of Jolt. So you can enter in a point value. I prefer doing a point per minute. So if something is quick and easy, like grabbing a sanitizer bucket, we could give that a one point value. If there's something that takes more time or it's a tedious task, go ahead and give that more points, whatever you prefer. If you decide you don't want to use points on a particular task, maybe it's a food safety temperature log or an inspection of some kind, and we don't want points used, you can enter a zero as well. So it's up to you what point value you would like. And then here you have the ability to turn off the required function. So by default, all tasks within the list are going to be set as required. But if you check this box, what it'll do is allow the team members to mark that item as non applicable. It's not going to be quite visible just as they're going through the checklist. By default, it's going to want them to complete it. But you'll be able to select a couple of buttons and mark it as non applicable if it is truly not applicable for that shift. I'm going to leave these as required. And then I'm going to go ahead and save all, select start import. Once it's finished, I'm going to select done. And then it's going to take me back into my list here, where now you can see I have all of my items. 
Now at any time, I can rearrange my list. So turning on the equipment, I actually can come down here or I don't need it at all. So I can click the three dots here and I can actually delete that. I can save the list as I go, making sure that my changes are being saved. And let's say instead of a signature, I want them to take a picture here for checking the product. I can actually come into those three dots and change the item type. So now I can come in and reassign it from a signature to a photo. So now I can quickly update my list if I want to add in more photos or I want to take some of the photos out and throw in some QR codes or, or whatever you'd like. And then if you ever need to change the, the prompt, you can always come in and click that and then update any of the text that you may need, as well as adding in additional items as you see fit. Once you've created the list, you'll need to make sure you set up a schedule if it needs to be displayed automatically for the team. And then if you want any notifications as well, if the list wasn't completed, for example, there's additional videos that'll walk you through how to do that.